So uh, this is Sandeep Favija, currently as a president here. Uh, and uh, yes, when we started to think about it, that you know, we had to go for the audit and I think RF and sort of went to the one of the conference. I think they found out that Nimadi is one of the player that who can help us with us and we went for a meeting and all. It was uh, really difficult to you know understand because we, we had no idea, we don't have an expertise on all these things for. But yeah, Mumadi helped us to understand what is going on and how we should go about it. And um, first the uh, audit report came and we are really amazed at how many things are there that we, we are, this is around us but we can't uh, you know see that and if we are just ignoring it. So yeah, it's really great to have this here. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, this is Arif here and Vice President of Ahado Bus and Residence Welfare Association. Um, now we are being uh, representing as an MC. Before MC, we played a role also as an ad hoc committee members. Yeah. The importance of doing a uh, pre-audit check, it, it was a, it's a, it's just as an idea came up from a, several residents. And we didn't had much of an importance or we didn't have much of an knowledge about it. But after attending few sessions were initiated by Adda and Bath, then we got to know about the importance of getting this audit by a third party. Because the conventional method is whenever an handover has to be taken, a general maintenance company would come with an asset list, open point list. Yeah, that is on a very high level. But when it comes to a professional company who wants to go in deep about it with the technical knowledge and also how we can defend ourselves in front of the builder, that is where this third party audit who doesn't budge on a builder side or that doesn't budge with the vendor side. We want to get a neutral view digital way, yes or no. So that helped us to understand a clear reporting system where with this, we have a clear stand now, how we can go forward on. That is why I feel it's more about in a professional way to start engaging with the companies to understand the overall system and overall auditing structures to get where we, we cannot anticipate what things can go wrong in the future. So this is an, a first step. I believe every societies want to take up a new project to audit. I, I would still recommend as an auditing company to go on with. So this would be my takeaway with the journey which we've been with the uh, Namadi for past three months. And I feel this journey is kept very professional, very systematic an approach, and I believe I would go for it. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thanks a lot.